When I'm looking at a new bag, versatility is usually top of the list for most important features, which is why I'm so excited to be sharing with you the Savant Pack from Pioneer Carry today. It's a backpack that's great for week-long trips, overnight business trips, as well as daily trips to the office and the gym. So in this video, we're gonna pack it up three different ways to show off how easily it can adapt to your carry needs. If you don't know Pioneer Carry, they're a San Francisco-based company founded in 2016. They started by making high-quality technical wallets as well as pouches, but recently they branched out into making backpacks, like the Savant Pack we're looking at today. And thanks so much to Pioneer Carry for sending me this bag to try out. If you love this bag as much as I do, be sure to use my affiliate link in the description as it helps out the channel. And if you find this video useful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. So before we even start looking at this bag, I just wanted to say how much I love what Pioneer Carry is doing right now. I recently looked at their Panda Pack and I'll be taking a look at their Duration Pack in the future as well. So at first, I wasn't even sure about the look and design of these bags. They have those chunky zippers and, you know, they look kind of different than what we're used to seeing in the market. But they have grown on me so much. And to be honest, Pioneer Carry is quickly becoming one of my favorite new travel brands. It's nice to see a fresh new look being brought to the simple black backpack. So on to the Savant Pack, which comes in at 20 liters and 2.3 pounds. It has a height of 18 inches, a width of 11.5 inches, and a depth of 7.5 inches. It only comes in this black colorway and is made with high quality, thick 840 Mandarin nylon. The thing you'll notice first about this bag is the front pocket is almost three times the size as the main pocket. And you may be thinking, weird design choice. But honestly, I really like this because it's a perfect spot to throw a pair of shoes, which makes this bag really versatile for trips, where you either need a pair of extra dress shoes or a pair of extra running shoes so you can work out. Also, when it's all packed out, the bag has no problem standing on its own. Within that large front pocket, there are also four smaller pockets for chargers, video game consoles, notebooks, you know, those kind of things, as well as a key leash. The main pocket behind that is really structured and it's a perfect place for your clothes. It honestly almost acts like a packing cube. It's thin, but you can fit around four or five shirts along with your underwear and socks, which I think is perfect for a week-long trip when you do a little sink laundry like I like to do. Then you have the back padded laptop compartment, which offers some great protection for the most expensive thing you'll be carrying, your computer. There's also a handle on the top and a removable luggage tag on the side. And on the back, we have nicely padded shoulder straps, as well as a nicely padded back panel, along with a luggage pass-through. But that's really it. It's simplicity at its finest. The design is sophisticated and it's intentional. It's not too cluttered with pockets and compartments. It's really just exactly what you need. A beautiful, minimalist design. The backpack retails for 335 US dollars, so it is an investment. However, it does come with a lifetime warranty. Also, the versatility of this bag, as we take a look shortly when we pack this thing up for three different use cases, justifies the price in my opinion, because it can be used in so many different ways. And now, quickly, I just wanna throw up a few of the many features of this bag. So let's start by packing this thing up for a week long trip. Everyone packs differently and will bring what is important to them, but these are going to be the things that I find essential when I travel for a week. So as you watch what I pack, be sure to visualize what you'd be taking along for your trip. So as you can see, here is everything laid out on the bed that I will be taking along with me. When I travel, I really like bringing just the essentials. I try to pack only what I need to bring so that the travel experience is much easier and streamlined than checking a bag or using an oversized backpack. So for a trip like this, I'll do some sink laundry about halfway through, which is why I'll only bring along four shirts. And I'll start by packing these in the slim middle compartment of the bag, the one that acts almost like a packing cube.
And speaking of packing cubes, I also have my small one from the container store packed up with four pairs of boxer briefs and four pairs of socks for this trip. Next, I'll open up the large front compartment. And this is where I'm gonna put my smaller items first, starting with my laundry strips and the vegan stain remover bar from Kind Laundry. I've been so happy with these strips. They're so easy to just throw in a bag and bring along with you. And the stain remover bar, it just works super well. So if one of my shirts gets a little dirty, I just lather this up and it comes off easily. Next up, I have this little pouch from Pendleton, which will be holding my Game & Watch from Nintendo, which has Super Mario 1 and 2 on it. If these kind of handheld video games are interesting to you, be sure to subscribe because in a future video, I'm going to go over my current lineup of handheld video game consoles. Next, I'm gonna bring my little Le Click 110 film camera, which is just easy to throw in the bag. You can take a few pictures while you're out and about. And then we're gonna finish up this fourth pocket with an Apple charger. Next, I'm gonna bring my Nike running shoes because I really want to be able to utilize the front pocket because it just seems to be made for shoes. Also, I've been gaining a few pounds since the birth of my daughter, uh, which was just six weeks ago, and I definitely need to exercise when I can. I'll also throw in my toiletries bag, and the one I'm currently carrying is the Pioneer Carry Global Pouch, which just fits all of my toiletries perfectly. It also has a really nice slim profile. I'm also gonna throw in a t-shirt and shorts for exercising, as well as a dry fit hat. Lastly, I'll pack up the back pocket with the first collection of Calvin and Hobbes comic strips because I recently found my collection of Calvin and Hobbes books and they just make me happy to revisit. And then we're gonna round it all out with my iPad Pro. Next up, let's take a look at packing the Savant up for an overnight business trip. I've been getting a lot of comments recently on packing for business trips, and this little bag is a great option if you want to carry just a personal item on an overnight business trip. So we're gonna start by packing my clothes in this slim middle compartment. First up, we have some dress pants from Indochino, and I've found these to be pretty decent for their price. I'm also gonna pack some athletic shorts for wearing around the hotel. Next, I'm gonna throw in two pairs of boxer briefs. And then I'm gonna pack up my dress shirt. And this one is from Ralph Lauren.
On top of that, I'll throw in a white tee from Comfort Color so I can sleep in that. Now, I'm gonna open up that large front compartment of the bag, and that's where I'm gonna put my accessories first. We're gonna start with this Field Notes notebook, and this one has Louisiana on it from their States collection. I'm gonna throw in a pen in here too. And then I'm gonna round out the pockets with chargers as well as my headphones. Then I'm gonna put in some dress shoes. The ones I have here, I picked up cheap at H&M, but honestly, I really like them. They're not the best quality, they definitely won't last forever, but I do like the style. I'll also bring along one pair of athletic socks and one pair of dress socks, and I'm gonna pack these inside of my shoes. I'm also going to throw my toiletries bag in here to fill out this compartment. And then I'm gonna round things out with my MacBook Pro as I'll definitely need that for work. So lastly, I wanna take a look at using the bag on a daily basis, because I do think it's a really great bag to be able to carry to work during the day and then to the gym when you're on your way home from work. So it's a pretty nice everyday carry bag. We're gonna once again start by packing out the slim middle compartment of the bag. And here we're gonna put my bento box from Rusty, which will have my lunch for the day. I'll also bring along this water bottle from Sip, which is gonna carry my coffee in the morning, and then I'm gonna switch out to water in the afternoon and throughout the day. I'll also use it at the gym. Next, I'll put my change of clothes for the gym, which includes a t-shirt and some shorts in here. And then I'll pack out that large front compartment, starting with accessories again. First, we'll throw in my charger. Then we'll put in a notebook and pen, as well as my headphones. And then we're gonna put my running shoes and my dry fit hat in here. And then we're gonna pack up the back laptop compartment with my laptop. So what do you think of this bag? How would you plan on using it? Honestly, I haven't been this excited about a new bag in a second, so I'm really interested to read the comments on this one and see if you love this as much as I do. Uh, I just really think the design's awesome. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.